Well, guess what? Big Daddy got full replacement. Boom! Out of the park and State Farm discount double check, baby. Remember that. Bing. What are we doing today? I'm going to tell you what we're doing today and I'm going to show you how to get this roof bought when State Farm only bought partial of the roof, okay? So go up here with me. I'm going to show you how it's done, baby. This stuff they don't teach in the, uh, in the rookies, boys. Pay attention. I had two salespeople of my own that came here and just gave up blue, plopped on it. Didn't know what to do. Not their fault. You can lead a horse to water, you can't make them drink though, right? 88 shingles were bought on this. When the house needs redecked by code, and you rip up 88 shingles to repair. For one, you can't repair shingles in my personal opinion anyways. We all know that because you tear the one behind you have to keep replacing them. But when you see a decking issue, there, it's slat decking, it's not to code. What do you do when 88 shingles, but you see the exposed decking, you see the coating, they come shut you down? Well, buddy, if they have code coverage, we got to redeck it. The only way we can redeck it is if we take all the shingles off and redo the whole roof. That's the only which way. I had State Farm ask them, what do you want me to do? They admit the same thing. So, guys, keep 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 watching these things, because this is how you get things turned over. You have to lift this up where the seal strips are at, right? To lift this up seal strip, you break the seal, okay? It's the only way you can do is to find where the nail heads are at, all right? So we have to find where the nail heads are at. The problem is, once we break the seal, there's no warranty, okay, for the shingle. So you gotta come underneath there. Up, we're doing a repair, right? Okay, this side, all right, there it is. Right there, there we go. The problem is, once repair shingles, right? You have to rip up the nail strip. You have to rip up the shingle. Okay, the nail, this, this strip right here is sealed, okay? You have to break the seal to get to the nail, okay? It's right there, and the damage is gonna bend them up, and break them, right? Okay? Oh, see that? See what happens trying to get the nail head? Rip the other shingles, not good. So, but, that, there's a, you, can't, you can't avoid it. There's no avoid, you're gonna tear up all these shingles. Try to repair one second. That's the problem. Okay, there we go. So, first one down. There you go. Now, in the process, look at all this. Two of these right here, lift them up, try to get to them. Okay, there's no real way. But, the problem is we have, are these here, so I'm going to show you. Okay. Come on. I didn't so know there. Anyways, is. Here we go. Slat decking. What we have here is uh, um, slat decking, not solid sheathing. And code where I'm at, you have to have solid sheathing. And what I mean solid sheathing, four by eight OSB 716 deck boards. Okay, so I have 88 shingles, guys, that need to be repaired. What do you do? How do I change to solid sheathing when I'm only changing 88 shingles. I call State Farm, I asked them what to do. They kind of lost for words for a second. They said, you know what? Give us a full replacement estimate, send it in. So they're doing the right thing. I mean, it has to happen. Because they had uh, code coverage, now State Farm is covering it. If this ever comes across you guys' wheelhouse or anything, at least you guys know how it gets bought because I've had two other salesmen that dropped the ball in this, this job and didn't want to take it because it went full replacement. Well, guess what? Big Daddy got full replacement. Boom, out of the park. And State Farm, discount double check, baby. Remember that, bing.